Hi, I'm Dr. Gottenborg, um, a chiropractor in Pelican Rapids, and today I wanted to tackle a subject that um, uh, we're going to try to do it. It's, it's a difficult one to explain to people, but I want to talk a little bit about vertigo or dizziness. And um, we always seem to see people from time to time with vertigo or dizziness, and then there are times when all of a sudden we see a lot of people and I can only think that that may be seasonally related. And a little bit later on we'll show you um, the types of things that I like to look for, specifically congestion in the lymphatics. Um, there are people listening today that might have been diagnosed with Meniere's disease, or you may have the type of dizziness that for example when sleeping at night and you turn either to your right or left, one or the other, um, you experience dizziness. And this is the kind that um, maybe a doctor has told you may have some crystallizations or some small stone-like fragments in the ear. Um, and we treat that too. Uh, we use a maneuver called Epley's Maneuver. Uh, but today I want to talk a little bit about um, just broad subject where no matter where you've been or what type of diagnosis that uh, you've received that chiropractic might be an option. There are two broad categories that act as the cause of vertigo. The first is visual, the second being what medical doctors refer to as vestibular or inner middle ear. What I want to do today is to talk about how the upper cervical spine, the neck, can have a direct effect on dizziness. It involves the nervous system. There are fibers along the um, facet joints or the joints in the neck that directly communicate with nerves uh, to the inner and middle ear that in sense provide feedback as to where the head is positioned. I think you can see that if my head is to the right yet this part of my nervous system is getting the message that I'm looking straight at you right now this could cause vertigo. The second is irritating that part of the nervous system called the autonomic. Now autonomic means it just automatically works, just like our heart automatically works. And irritation to this part of the nervous system would have a direct effect on the blood supply outlined here or shown here as a red. You can see almost a tortuous um, path has a direct effect on blood supply and of course anything that momentarily for a fraction of a second limits blood flow you will be unbalanced almost immediately. One of the things that we try to work into our exam is to evaluate the lymphatic system and so um, as part of our exam after we have checked uh, for spinal motion. Um, I, I like to come right behind the back of the ear and as I, as I kind of um, move in this direction I'm evaluating the lymphatic chain and we think that's important because anytime when we find congestion here we know it's causing back pressure which can contribute to vertigo. So what do we do? Um, in our clinic, what I do is we certainly want to address any area in the upper back, upper cervical spine where we have um, found a restriction, something that would limit motion. Maybe some of you know this by the word subluxation. Others might think, well, it's something out of alignment. So certainly we want to address that. In the instance where we have, definitely we have congestion, uh, we use certain therapeutic devices to, um, to decrease lymphatic congestion along with supplements that work very, very effective taken in a specific dose that will act in a sense like a lymphatic cleanse. And um, generally speaking, um, if we're selective with the patients that we look at, we have very, very good results. 
So if you have questions about vertigo or dizziness or have never considered trying chiropractic, uh, you can call our office here in Pelican Rapids and uh, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life. 